Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Today, we're gonna go over the best ways to do squats with resistance bands because there's different types, lengths, and resistance levels. There's some type of squats that are good for some people and some types that are good for others. And we're gonna go over all of those today. But first, if you're new to the channel, my whole channel is dedicated to all things resistance bands. On this channel, you're gonna find workouts, tips and tricks, and reviews of resistance bands. So when it comes to breaking down the different type of squats with resistance bands, a lot of factors are gonna come into play when it comes to form and technique. So I'm gonna start from the worst way to the best way to do squats. And when I say worse, I'm talking about least effective to more effective. Some of these are gonna be more effective and some may just limit you because of certain factors and you can't do the best way. But all of these are going to be effective when it comes to squats, just some are better than others. So the first squat exercise is going to be the lean forward technique squat. This is mostly used with two bands and a door anchor. Now when it comes to using this exercise, most people have these two bands. They're the most accessible ones that you're gonna find on Amazon. You're gonna find it like Dick's Sporting Goods. A lot of places are gonna have these types of bands. So this one, I see a lot of people using. Now the way this one is set up is that you put a door anchor at the bottom and you put the handles over your shoulders and you're leaning forward to get that tension. There lies a problem with this method. You are leaning forward. You're more so on your toes than your heels. And that is not good when it comes to squats. It gives you some great tension when it comes to the quads, but when it comes to the back of the legs, they seem to be neglected in this exercise. Also, it gives you some limitations as far as when you're coming forward there, you may have something in front of you and you can't really get a good stretch on there. In addition, this puts a lot of stress on your toes and your calves. If you're looking to work out your calves, it is good for that, but it's not the best thing when it comes to squats. That leaning forward causes an issue as putting too much stress on your back. And we don't wanna work out our back, we wanna work out our legs. Also, you're gonna feel very awkward when you're coming up and down because you have this thing pulling you. And the more tension you have, the more it's pulling you back and you're fighting against it. You really wanna come more in a straight line motion coming up when you're doing squats. So although most people can do this exercise, I don't find it the most effective. Now the next exercise when it comes to using squats is gonna be the holding the bands on the side when it comes to doing squats. You may see this a lot when it comes to doing a heavy compound squat exercise. Now the thing is with this one, it really fixes the issue of that leaning forward. You are straight up and down. And the good thing about it is that you can grab it lower for more resistance right on the fly. Because at times you may find that it's not enough resistance, but if you can just grab down below, it makes it a lot easier. What makes it better than that other technique we just talked about when it comes to leaning forward, because by the time you set up in everything like that and you realize it's not enough resistance, you just wasted a set and you have to add another band to do that. This technique is great for pushing off of your heels and keeping your feet flat. So you really work out your quads and the back of your legs, those hamstrings and those glutes. In addition, you can use those loops as handles there to get you a really good grip. But speaking of grip, when you're using those handles there and you need to reach down, you lose those handles. So when you're using heavy resistance, your hands tend to slide. And so you won't be able to get the benefit of that full resistance. That's one of the downfalls of this technique. It is very effective, but as you improve, you may find that it's gonna be harder for you to get more resistance. And for you beginners out there, I'm worried that if you do try this technique, you won't focus on keeping your back straight and you really need someone to look at it or a trainer, or you can watch my videos and you can see how you're supposed to keep your back straight throughout the exercise. A lot of people are leaning forward and they're pulling their back up. This is not what we want to do because that's really gonna put a lot of stress on your back and cause injury down the line. So for those intermediate to advanced levels there, and I would say more so intermediate because if you're advanced, you're probably gonna need more resistance, is that you're gonna make sure that you just bend with the legs and you're pulling up with the legs and you're not using your back to do that. It's in a stable position, the entire movement throughout the exercise. Now the next exercise is gonna require your fingers. 
And what you're gonna do is hit that like button. You see what I did there? But seriously, if you wanna see more videos like this that explain to you what are the best exercises for resistance bands, go ahead and hit that like button because it lets me know what you wanna see. Back to the exercises. Now for this next exercise, this is gonna be with two bands. And this is a method where you do squats with it holding in the hands. Now the setup on this is, you're gonna put those handles at the bottom and you're gonna use those loops to your advantage. And you're gonna move the rubber portion of it out of the way and put your feet right there through the nylon. And that way you can get in a good position to grab the band right in the middle of your hands and you're gonna keep it in close and you're gonna be able to do a squat that way. The great thing about this is, this is the most natural way to do a squat. This is the easier transition if you're coming from weight to resistance bands. This is gonna make it so that your feet are flat, you're able to come down with a straight back, and anybody can do this from beginner to advance. Most people have two bands that I find that I surveyed on the community board. Go ahead and make sure you vote on the community board because I'm always posting stuff up there. But this is gonna help out the most people. And the good news is that it doesn't require a door anchor. I did a whole series of all these exercises without using a door anchor. Go ahead and check that out. And you're gonna find this exercise when it comes to the leg workouts. As you see here, you're gonna make sure that you're stable throughout the exercise. You can get very low on the plane. You're gonna work out your quad your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and even your calves there. So this is gonna be really great for most people. I highly recommend this exercise if you have two bands. Now the limitation is, it's going to be the resistance level. This band is longer. So because of that, the tension is not gonna be as high. If you've never done this before, I recommend starting off this way and then we're gonna move on to that last one there that I think is the best. So the one that I find the most effective when it comes to doing squats with resistance bands, it's gonna be the loop band squat in the hands. Now this is gonna be similar to the last one, but this time we're gonna use loop bands. So the setup is a lot similar, but now you have a shorter band in this circular motion. We're gonna put our feet through the bands and we're gonna grab the hands and you're gonna feel that tension immediately. That's why it's very good to have good quality bands. And when it comes to that, you're gonna put it right there in the hands and you're gonna squat down and you're gonna come up. This is gonna be a natural squat there. Something that you're gonna be doing every day. It's gonna get you prepared to get your legs more developed. It's gonna work out your quads. It's gonna work out the back of your legs. It's gonna work out your calves. And it makes it so that you're in a great, great position. Your feet are flat. You're pushing off your heels because we don't wanna push off our toes when we do that and it puts your back in a straight position. That's a great thing about doing it with the loop bands. And the most effective thing is that it's gonna give you great tension. So when it comes to using it with loop bands, I mean, if you're intermediate to advanced, you will find this to be a killer squat workout. So make sure if you're serious about getting results from squats with resistance bands, this is the exercise that you wanna do. So as I said before, when you're doing a squat this way, you wanna make sure you have good quality bands. So the bands I recommend are right here by Undersun Fitness, but don't take my word for it, but I guess you do because it's the next video that you wanna click next. So go ahead and check out that video so you know why I love these bands when it comes to loop bands. Then after that, to really develop your legs, you wanna make sure that you do a lot of other exercises besides the squats. So go ahead and check out this video also where I give you a full leg workout using only resistance bands.